What's up guys, what is up, and welcome back to a new episode of Se- or not Seven Days, it's Ark, and in today's episode of Ark, well, we're gonna be fishermen. You might ask yourself, Star, how the hell do you plan on fishing? Well, I'm gonna be demonstrating to you guys how to fish, how it works, this is one of the major mechanics added in this game, and there's a lot that you can actually get from it. So, fishing, first off, you have to have yourself a fishing rod. Fishing rods are unlocked at level 20, they take 15 engram points. They give you 15 crafts and XP, and you do need the bow as a prereq. If you do scroll down just a little bit, though, they should be right around. It's going to be after you got it. So you got to learn the bow first, and then once you learn the bow, the fishing rod can be learned. To craft it, it is really quite simple, really not that hard. 12 wood, 55 or 20 hatch, and then also to use it, you are either going to want a wooden chair, which also is not too expensive, or also a bench, which is a little bit more, but it's also nicer. So what you have to do is, in order to even use them in the first place, you do have to be sitting down. And then once you sit down, you can see that in my toolbar, it actually got highlighted. So I now have a fishing rod in my hand. Look at that. I am, I am ready to fish with those thighs of steel. And now, what you can catch while fishing is going to be coelacanths, saber-tooth salmon, and piranha. And then the thing is, to cast your line out, you pretty much want to cast it near somewhere where what you're fishing for actually is. So here, there's a nice little school of uh, coelacanths, and what appears to be... No, that's just a really big coelacanth. Yeah, small school of coelacanths, so I did decide to kind of settle by here, put my wooden chair down, and get to fishing, you know, live the simple life again. However, uh, you can also sit fish for saber-tooth salmon and piranha, like I said. And the thing is, you're going to want to have to bait... You need to get bait. So, the bait for coelacanths is sap, which you can get by using your tree tap on trees, I think. I don't know if that's specifically in the redwood biome or not. Or you can also get leech blood, and leech blood is gotten by... Um, I think you just have to kill leeches, right? Yeah, I think... I think that's it. Don't quote me on that, but I do think you just kill leeches. So, those are the two main things that you do get, and then once you have them, well, you just gotta apply them, which I did. I just drag them over to the fishing rod, loads them up using that. And then, uh, you sit down and prepare to fish. So you hit 8, you equip the fishing rod, and then what you do is you cast it. There you go, and then once you cast it, you wait a little bit. So then, what you gotta do is you gotta wait a little, about half a minute to a minute, and then the lure will catch. And once the lure catches, a quick time event happens that encompasses Q, W, E, A, S, D, F, and Z, X, C. And what you have to do is hit those in a certain order. It's gonna be like a quick time event. You guys should see here in a sec if my line does catch unless the school of coelacanths did migrate, but I don't think it did. So in a sec here, I really hope that this thing does catch. I'm gonna be disappointed if I do mess up my fishing here. Ugh, might have to recast my line kinda soon. I don't know. We're gonna wait a little bit longer though. Oh, the seal can's going for it, and then we gotta press C. It's like a quick time event, and you gotta go through it. You gotta press as many buttons as possible, and you do have a set amount of time, and oh my god, this is stressful. Q, A, there we go, and we caught it, woo! We reeled it in, and you can see a bunch of stuff that we just got there. So I'm gonna try and explain how that works now that you saw it. We got three raw prime fish meat, a lot of prime actually. We got 20 raw fish meat, we got angler gel, rare mushrooms, black pearls, pelts, spark powder, cementing paste, and gunpowder. What the hell? Fish don't normally have that well. In addition to the raw fish and raw prime fish meat that you get, you can also get resources and blueprints from catching fish. So, the larger fish you catch, the higher chance of yielding these, while smaller fish might give just meat. And then some of the stuff you can get is absorbent substrates. I'm not 100% sure what that is. Angler gel, black pearls, chitin, cementing paste, charcoal, crystal, fiber, flint, gunpowder, hide, leech blood, metal, metal ingots, obsidian, oil, organic polymer, pelt, polymer, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, rare prime meats, Sap, silica pearls, spark powder, stone, thatch, wood, and the woolly rhino horn. Along with that, there are three blueprints of varying qualities you can get for armor, weapons, and saddles. So fishing is not just for fish meat. There is actually some really good benefits you can get. And for resource gathering, I got some pretty good stuff here. I'm not gonna lie. I got some cementing paste, angler gel. Like, this is pretty damn useful stuff we're talking about here. So, what happens is you do have the quick time event, you have 18 seconds to press all the keys, and what happens is smaller fish take less keys to reel in, larger fish take more keys, and it is kind of just challenging like that, so we're gonna go and attempt to cast out the line again. I do think there should be, yeah, there's some more seal cancel, so we're gonna try to catch ourselves another big one and do this quick time event, but 
After that, what I might do is mess around and try to look for some really big coelacanths. But this could be cool because they literally added in a fishing mechanic. And, like, you and your friends could just go sit down and have a fishing com competition, see who can catch the biggest fish. And really, it's just a really fun mini game. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a quick time event. You got to know where your keys are. I'm awful when it comes to knowing my keys. So it is actually quite a struggle here. But, I, I mean, I try my best. And then you can actually see... When the coelacanths do come for it, if they are nearby, they will just like literally just like dive bomb for the bait out of nowhere. And uh, do keep in mind, you do need sap, uh, at least for the coelacanths. I might go look for some saber tooth salmon, but they all pretty much are similar in what they give. I don't know if there's a big difference in what you fish for. It's just size really that matters. So here, this guy's going for it. Q, uh, E, W, A, S, and then you can see every time we reel. We do get closer, and voila, another fish has been caught, 0.9% quality, it gives us the quality of the fish we caught, and overall, we keep getting more stuff, which is honestly really freaking cool, unfortunately, you can't pick up your chair, oh no, you can't pick up your chair, look at that, so you can just go from spot to spot, and look for where the biggest coelacanths are, and then once you find, you know, whatever the hell you want to target, and uh, I'm, you know, you might want to target some big coelacanths if you really want to get the good stuff, uh, so you might want to wander around, go flying, and the bigger the coelacanth, remember, the harder it is going to be to catch, the more buttons you have to press in that amount of time. But, once you do reel it in, if you do finally manage to reel it in, there will be some big benefits and big rewards that you can reap, such as nicer stuff. And I mean, once you, at, when you can start getting, like, polymer from this stuff, that is pretty insane, because they, like, that's really notable loot that you get from fishing, so even, like, if you really, like, want to have some fun, if you see some big fish in the water, craft yourself a chair, craft yourself a fishing rod, and, well, go fishing. I think that's a megalodon over there, though. I don't think we can catch that, but nonetheless, a very cool thing you can do. And also, you can put it on a wooden raft, and you can actually sail out to sea and look for a school of coelacanths or something. However, do keep in mind, the raft cannot be moving while you are fishing, so you can put a wooden chair on a raft, you can sit down, you can, or you can put it out to sea and you can sit down, but if your friend pilots the raft, as soon as the raft begins to move, your line will break, so to speak, and you will not be able to finish any catch you may have gotten. So here, that's that's a big seal. I can't think I don't want to try and catch that. So we'll end the episode by trying to catch this big fella right here, and uh, we'll rotate the chair. We'll uh, sit on the wooden one, and uh, Mr. Big Seal can't come be with me. And there we go. We dropped it pretty close, and I want to try and catch this big seal can't. I really do. I want to see what kind of loot we can get from this guy. And this will be the last catch of the day. But hopefully you guys did enjoy it, today's video. Hopefully it was informative. And hopefully you go out and fish a little bit. It's really not that hard. So long as you know where your keys are. You got 18 seconds to press all the ones that it does prompt you. Bigger the fish, the more you got to press. Same amount of time. But also the bigger fish, the better resources you can get from it. And also more bet bragging rights that you can get from it. So, I mean, it's really cool. Great mini game they've added. And it's like really the first so-called mini game and it's cool you know it is cool when they add in these types of things at least in my opinion and that big seal can is lurking so hopefully he dive bombs for this thing relatively soon and come on he's right there i know you want it big boy get the bait get the bait i'm ready i'm ready to start pressing seal can oh he's going for it there we go okay z uh s and it turns out you actually have 20 seconds there i'm reeling i'm reeling and the closer the fish is, I don't think it actually matters. It's just this is still like, because you can see we reel them in with every button press. I don't think that that's what matters. What matters is, oh my god, that was a big one. 1.2 times. Look at all that stuff we got there. Level 4, 1.2 times. The 1.6 has still escaped us. But we got metal ingots, absorbent and sulfstrate. I don't even know what the hell that's used for necessarily. Obsidian, keratin, organic polymer, like... There is really good stuff to catch. Where's that 1.6, though? Is that the freak? I want to catch the 1.6. I refuse to leave until we get this 1.6. All right, well, guys, unfortunately, it does seem that this 1.6 times coelacanth is not... He's not biting, man. He's not biting. I thought we could catch him, but that's okay. It does seem that your best bet at catching them is, again, when they are in a school of coelacanth or just really in a school of any fish, because then one of them is more likely to bite because here you can see that I'm fishing for one in particular and it's just proving to be a little bit harder than the alternatives and uh, I mean yeah your best bet is to fish when they are in a larger kind of pool pool of fish but without further ado that is gonna do it's for me star the fisherman is done for the day I'll cast out one more for good measure who knows maybe that'll be the better spots but star the fisherman he's fishing and he's trying to 
He's trying to do his best, as you can see there, but uh, it's a struggle bus. It really is. We'll see if this last line can catch it, but even if it does not, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Hopefully it was informative, and hopefully it was enjoyable, you know, because I like, I like bringing you guys joy. That's what I like doing, so if you guys did like it at all, hopefully you will have yourselves a greater day, and hopefully, if you're not, hopefully you go out and do something and have a greater day. So at the end of the day, you could be like, it was a fantastic day, and uh, call it a good day. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's really all I can ask for. Thank you for all the supports. I don't even ask for that, but you guys seriously do give it, which is insane. So, thank you guys. It does mean a lot. Seeing those likes in the comments. And thank you. Sincerely, it does mean quite a bit. And Fisherman Star is not catching the 1.6 today, but when the series returns, which it will, don't you worry. The series will return. Hopefully, Star can get a little bit luckier and uh, catch what he's always wanted. And also, how, do, how the hell do I, like, how do I, like, um... Can I not get like a weird view anymore? This is on. I don't know. So it's my game glitched. I can't like. That, that was really weird. He did not. He did not want to move at all. Yeah. So thank you guys. And uh, hopefully, when the full series does return, we'll do some catching, and these resources will go to a good use. Because honestly, me and Taco, we will have a fishing competition. I can tell you that right now. We will have a fishing competition, and we will get ourselves some damn good loots. But without further ado, that's going to do it to me. Oh, you know what would be awesome? Like a RP server if you're a fisherman, and then you're just, like, getting... Even if you're, like, a low-level fisherman, you could get, like, all these, like, high-level materials and sell them at, like, a little fishing stand. Yo, can I just say, like, with Primitive Plus and now fishing, there's a lot of potential for, like, really cool RP stuff. That's what I love. And I can't wait to see, like, what other mini games it might potentially add for RP, but... I kind of want to become a roleplay fisherman now, but okay, that's enough for me. You guys are probably done listening to me talk, and I'm done talking, don't you worry. So thank you guys for watching the video as always, and hopefully, I'll see you next one.